Hey guys, this week's Indie Gala bundle recommendation is the Badland Publishing Bundle. You can get great games such as Anima, Gate of Memories, Leopoldo Manquizil, and Nightmare Boy. Support indie devs, support me, and save money on some awesome games. Link is in the description. So, is it is it okay if I tell the beefaroni story? Go for it. This, this, this isn't what you think it is. Oh no! So... One of the one of the jobs I think I already mentioned this is as a as a as an adult entertainment uh, disc jockey, is you are in charge of every single girl that comes through to work. Now most of these girls are independent contractors, not so much like wrestling; they can come and go as they please. Um, one of the requirements is that they have to make a stage when you call for them. So we set up a rotation. So my job is okay. I show up at. Uh, 1130 I have two girls already ready to go for when we open at noon so their names go directly to the top of the board and you keep going with that and you know it's you're doing it on a whiteboard so a lot of things change so my buddy showed up and he was taking over the shift after me he was working nights I was still new like probably I was working there for like two months so one of the things that I would do is you know I would make sure that the rotation was perfect for him but he came in where the time he was going to jump in was at the top of the rotation. So I figured I'd fuck with him. Because I'm thinking in my head, what did Ron Burgundy used to do? On the board, he's going to call it. So at the very oh, bottom no. at the very bottom of the board, I wrote Beefaroni. <laughs> no, you did not. I did. Because I was 100% thinking like, you know, we, I used to audition girls all the time. Girls would come in, they'd do their audition, I'd call them up for like two songs, and then they'd, I, my manager would ask them what I thought of it, like I fucking saw anything because I'm too worried about mixing my music. Um, but, you know, occasionally I'd watch, you know, because there's naked women. Um, <laughs> that's a lie, I watched all the time. Uh, Go on. <laughs> but um, I figured, I'm like, if he shows up, I'm going to bounce out immediately. I'm going to claim all this money that I made. I'm going to clock out and bounce home and i figured if i wrote beefaroni at the bottom he wouldn't notice because i i told him you're starting at the top of the rotation which everybody that takes over for night wants because then you have enough time to fucking like if there's any issues like a girl goes upstairs for vip or a girl just leaves and goes home because she's been there her mandatory four hours she needs to work so top of the order is the best time to fucking show up so i put i put it at the very bottom there was like 14 girls on the list and so I, I do that and I bounce out of the booth. I say like three words. So I'm like, hey, dude, have a good shift. I got to I gotta go. So that's more than like three words. But I leave and then I get a call about 20 minutes later. Oh, no. And he's like, Corey, who the fuck is Beefaroni? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm driving down the road on the highway and I'm, I'm, I'm about to piss my pants laughing. <laughs> and I just say, did you call her to stage? He's like, I've called her three times. <laughs> now, so he didn't get in trouble. I let the manager in on it who he thought that was fucking great. And I let the girl who was supposed to take over after Beefaroni didn't show up. I let her in on it too. Oh my God. <laughs> He didn't at speak least... to me for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I had to see him at work. <sighs> and that's the beefaroni story. <laughs> oh, at least you didn't write Doom? beefaroni. Doom? I want to let you know before I go that 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 was some grade A bullshit, and that was something I would do too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's mm -hmm. so easy to do it too. Oh, that may because, have to get clipped. Because I love to fuck with people on a low key manner. Nothing uh, obtrusive, just low key. And that's the most low key shit you could ever do. <laughs> and I wouldn't have done it if he wasn't like my best friend. <laughs> <laughs>